Good morning, guys. The other day, Gatsby got bitten by a really mean dog. Gatsby's so friendly, but a little bit too friendly sometimes. He ran up to another dog. The owner was like pulling the dog back, but Gatsby wanted to sniff the other dog, and the dog tried to bite him. Gatsby's eyes been pussing. If you can see, right there on the bottom, see that white area on the bottom of his eye? It looks like it's on his eyelid, but it might have hit his other his eye too. And I got an appointment with the vet in like an hour, so we're gonna go and do that. Let's just hope everything's okay, Gatsby. Okay, Gatsby, it's time to go to the vet. Is it okay? There's like a white spot on his eye there. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yesterday when I was bringing the dog out to play, there was this guy who brought his dog and then Gatsby ran up to the dog and I'm calling him because the guy's like pulling his dog back and then Gatsby didn't listen and he ran all the way over to the other dog. And something happened, I it was like dark so I couldn't really tell what was happening and then Gatsby just started crying like Aah! I couldn't really see, it was really far away and I didn't really notice until today when his eye um, was pussing. He's a little bit calm to come in the car so I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Okay, Gatsby. We'll see what's going on with you. <laughs> they found a little scratch on Gatsby's eye, but they said it should be totally fine in like a week. Just give him drops. So that's good. Got some expensive hospital bills, Gatsby. <laughs> the vet put the eye drops in and his eye already looks better. Hmm. <laughs> That's good. So we also had him look at the paws. They gave some antibiotics because he does have like a bacterial thing inside of his paws. They said though that I need to be wiping his paws more with baby wipes. I'm so glad that your eye is okay, Gatsby. You, you had us all worried. They said it's gonna take a while for his skin on his eyelid to color up. You're a good dog. Thank you. The eye drops really cleared up his eyes, it's not pussing anymore. So we gotta do that for a week and then give him his antibiotics for his feet for two weeks. For those of you who want to see how to give dogs um, medication where they have to swallow it, I'll show you how. You can't just like put it in their food because they probably won't eat it. <laughs> so you open their mouth like this and stick it all the way in and then you keep it closed like this and then massage the throat because a lot of dogs will just keep it in their mouth and then spit it out once you walk away. Gatsby's pretty good with medication though. Yeah, you're okay with it? You feeling better? I have to put the cone back on, they told me. It already looks a little bit better. Now that we're back home, I thought that I would clean the apartment a little bit because I haven't done that in a while. Are you so excited to clean, Gatsby? Hey. There we go, all nice and done. And finally in America, the Me Fighters came out. It's a three pack in America, exclusive to Toys R Us. So, I'm gonna go and get that right now, go ahead and pick it up. Hey, made it to Toys R Us. Let's find it. Oh look, they have Yarn Yoshis here. They have Lucario, and look at all these. That's a lot. Oh, and that fox. That was the easiest hunt I've ever been on. This is for Super Smash Brothers. Well, it's the third to the last Amiibos that I need. The other ones are Falco and Mewtwo, which are coming out this month too. In all the other countries, the Mii Fighters were all split up, so they were all sold separately. Okay, let's open this up. First, let me tweet it. I personally don't really use the fighters that much because you can't use them online, but my friends do. And they're really good with me brawler. Here we go. This is the one that my friends all play as. He's probably the strongest one here. Here we go. Pretty cool looking. It says me on his belt there. Next, we got me gunner here, female one. Then we have me sword fighter over here. Do you guys use the Mii Fighters in Super Smash Bros? Let me know and 
which character you like to use. I think my favorite out of these three is the gunner. She looks really, really cool. And let's add them to my collection somewhere. And there, I just added them to the collection. Can you see them? <laughs> Here's one. Here are the other two. It's pretty much all packed up now. I'm not getting the Splatoon line or um, the Yarn Yoshi line or any of those because I have to draw lines somewhere. <laughs> what are you doing, Gatsby? <laughs> you got it stuck inside of your cone? Okay, let's add these amiibos into Mario Maker. Scan the gunner in. The amiibo is not compatible with Super Mario Maker? What? Is this one? So this is only compatible with Super Smash Brothers then, I'm guessing. Okay, well at least let's see what it does in Super Smash Brothers here. Can you do something? There it goes. Yes, I am the owner. Nicki Minaj. There she is. <laughs> oh, so we can change our outfit, that's new. <laughs> Princess. Awesome. Now I can bring this to my friend's house and play. Wiping off all my stuff right now. It's done with my workout. And I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna eat some pesto chicken pasta because I haven't had that forever. So I gotta go to the supermarket to get that. Looking for pasta. I found it. Okay. Time to head home now. Goose me hater, I get that loosely paper, then the next be studded out T-Rex. We got it out, tell him Nikki be chillin'. I'm a key her in the films because you'll never be Jordan. You couldn't even be pippin', you couldn't even be trippin'. You can't afford a vacation. I'm out of Haiti with Asians. I go to Asia with Asians, you mad dusty. You a little dusty possum. I just come through with a six like my name was Glossa. Are you attached to the tether tug? Let's make some chicken pesto for lunch. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this basil pesto sauce from Costco over here. It's like the best thing in the world. And I should have bought some more olive oil since this is like almost done. The rest of the olive oil inside. Seal the bag. Okay. So I just seasoned the chicken with onion powder and garlic powder. The timer's done, so let's take them out. Doing a steak also on the side. Okay, now that we made it back, I'm starting to boil the water for the pasta. Let's add some salt to the water here and add the noodles. Okay, it looks like it's done. Okay, so I am going to eat this portion, and these two are going to be for later. So pesto sauce is pretty much olive oil and basil and pine nuts and cheese, like parmesan, I believe. And there we go, chicken pesto pasta for lunch. Now I have chicken pesto for the next few days. Awesome. Your face looks like a bouquet of flowers, huh? I feel so bad for you, Gatsby. I'm sorry, dude. On the good note, your eye doesn't look as bad anymore. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's vlog. I know it was super short today because I was trying to take care of Gatsby. So instead, I thought I would play for you a lot of deleted footage. So one of them is going to Target and also baking a pumpkin cheesecake. And the other footage is from Halloween. Let's get started with the deleted footage and I'll see you in the next vlog. We are at Target. We're gonna get some stuff. There's pumpkin and caramel apple Oreos. We're at the amiibo section. I see no Yoshi Woolly World amiibos. There's Dr. Mario's. Look, there's a rare pick. Oh my gosh! Of, uh, amiibo. Inside out. <laughs> Ooh, look at this amiibo. <laughs> the Wii Fit Trainer amiibo. <laughs> I think they sold out the Yoshi Woolly World ones. They only got eight per store. Good thing I'm not collecting this. But they only have one copy left of the game. We're gonna try it out. Another 2D platformer for the Wii U. As if there's not enough. You can push this way. Push that way. Yeah. Throw the thing. Yes. And then you have to lick the thing. Pull it out. Pull out the thread. There you go. We got two giant ones. Aww. Oh, you found the hidden one. What? There's a hidden one right there. Oh, oh 
Oh my gosh, this game is so good. <laughs> no, you have to run through it. I just want to actually put stuff through it. <laughs> Yay! Because you didn't um, not look. Oh, sorry. Oh well. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> you have to play it again now. <laughs> no. That doesn't really fit your face. <laughs> look, you give me a stormtrooper for Halloween. Oh, bacon and eggs. What kid would want to do this? This is all Disney stuff now. Everything is Disney. Look, you can be Kylo Ren. I don't think anyone would know who you are if you just wore this. Oh my gosh, you can be BB-8. <laughs> this looks so weird. You can be a sexy stormtrooper. <laughs> Trick or treat, here you go. Here's a can of, uh, can of the jack. <laughs> I have wanted to make this pumpkin pie cheesecake square thing, so I, I wrote down the recipe over here. I'm gonna try it out. Oreo pie crust, that looks good. Pumpkin. Must get some cream cheese. Pumpkin cheesecake is like my favorite thing. I always look forward to it, and so let's make it. These are all the ingredients you will need. You need four eggs, canned pumpkin, a quarter cup of butter, pumpkin pie spice, one and a half cups of crumbled graham crackers, and four of these cream cheese. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees here. One quarter cup, right over here. Okay, melt away. Next, let's crumble some graham crackers here. Ah. We got one and a half cups. Okay, let's add the melted butter here. This is supposed to be lined with parchment paper, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna try Pam. We just smash this down. Like so. Next, we're going to make the filling. So we'll set this aside. We needed sugar also, one and a half cups. All of this cream cheese to a mixer, which I'm just using this. Okay, now we mix this until it gets light and fluffy. Okay, looks pretty good. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add four eggs into here, but we're gonna do it one at a time, and you just beat it slightly until it's incorporated. Ta-da! Okay, now three more eggs. Pour half of the mixture. And set this aside. We're gonna make the pumpkin layer now. The pumpkins and the pumpkin spice. Now add all the pumpkin, two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. Now I'm supposed to whisk this together. I don't even have a wire whisk. I just have to do this. There we go. Okay, now we have to carefully spoon that over whatever's here. And we're gonna stick this in the oven for 50 minutes. It's been 50 minutes. Leave the oven open like this for one hour. Okay, it's been one hour. So now we can stick this in the refrigerator. For at least three hours. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, there it is. Mmm, that looks pretty good. So check it out. This is my Tron costume for Halloween here. Gotta get in the pose. And I got my nine bot here, which I'm gonna ride.